This video chapter lesson reviews part one of the N400 application. If you have a copy of your original N400, please have it with you during this lesson to follow along. Remember, during your interview, the interviewing officer has a copy of the exact application you sent the United States Citizenship and Immigration Service. If you don't have a copy of the N-400, be sure to download a copy from our website. Part 1 of the N-400 is about your name. We will be looking at the different ways the questions can be expressed or asked. There is more than one way to ask the same question. You will have to make sure you can spell correctly your complete name. We will help you understand each question and vocabulary. Remember to answer all questions fully and accurately. Your interviewer wants to know your legal name, the name under which you enter the U.S., and any other names you used. Maybe you have used nicknames or used another name at work to ease co-workers and friends pronunciation problems. Sometimes your name is misspelled on your permanent resident card. This is the time to clarify your identification. If your legal name is different from the name on your permanent resident card, you need to bring the document that legally changed the name like a marriage certificate, a divorce decree, or a court document. You can also take this opportunity to seek a legal name change if you wish. Upgrade your membership today to America's best citizenship program. Now for less than 11 cents a day and join our VRP area. Easier, better, and faster access to more than 42 high resolution video lessons. Quality MP3s of interview questions and answers better navigation of all 500 learning activities with instant same-day membership, and no more advertisements or commercials interrupting your lessons. Upgrade now and join the thousands of members who have become U.S. citizens. Let's get familiar with the following words. Abbreviations. Correct. Exactly. Initials, legal name change. In part one, section A, you need to know your current legal name. Your current legal name is the name on your birth certificate. This name can only change after birth by a legal action such as a marriage or court order. Learn how to spell your first last and middle name. For example, my last name is Rodriguez. R-O-D-R-I-G-U-E-Z. Here are some of the possible questions that can be asked of you from part one about your name. What is your current legal name? What is your name? What is your full name? What is your complete name? What is your first name? Spell your last name. What is your last name? What is your middle name? Spell your first name. Spell your middle name. In part one, section B, you need to know the name that appears on your permanent resident card. Know exactly how to say and spell the name that appears on your permanent resident card. For some people, the name that appears on their permanent resident card is incorrect. For example, the name that appears on your permanent resident card might be misspelled. If you are asked to say the name on your permanent resident card, say and spell it exactly as it is written on your permanent resident card even if that name is incorrect. Here are some of the possible questions that can be asked of you from part one 
about your name as it appears on your permanent resident card. Is your name written correctly on your permanent resident card? Spell your name exactly as it appears on your permanent resident card. In part 1, section C, you will need to know if you have ever used any other name. If you have ever used any other name in your life, you might be asked what name or names those have been. For example, you might use another name at work. Maybe you use a different name than what is on your birth certificate. You might have to explain why you have or now use a different name. Here are some of the possible questions that can be asked of you from part one about other names you have used. Have you ever used any other name? Have you ever used any other name in your life? Have you ever used a different name? In part one, section D, you might be asked if you want to change your name. When you become a citizen, you can take a new name. During your interview, you will be given the opportunity to legally change your name. A court can allow a change in your name when you are being naturalized. A name change does not become final until a court naturalizes you. Order your CD today to receive VIP access to our new online citizenship school where you'll not only find the 100 questions but much, much more. You'll learn to answer each question exactly the way you would on the day of your interview by clicking here. What is the supreme law of the land? The Constitution. It's that easy. So what are you waiting for? Your CD or MP3 player order gives you access to the best and most complete learning experience available anywhere. Order now! Here are some of the possible questions that can be asked of you from Part 1, Section D of the N-400 about the possibility of changing your name. Would you like to legally change your name? Would you like to change your name today? Would you like to legally change your name today? What name do you want to use after you become a citizen? What name do you want to use when you become a citizen? What name do you want on your naturalization certificate? To test what you just learned in this video chapter lesson, be sure to watch our practice interview videos.